children welcome to aims india's online classes and with today's class we'll hopefully wind up multiplication of numbers yes we learned yesterday about estimation right estimation can be used to find the range of product that is between which two numbers the product lies what did we do yesterday for a particular multiplication we estimated the product yes we rounded off the factors to the nearest tens or hundreds and then multiplied them to get our estimated product now what are they saying here apart from that estimation can be used to find the range of product that is between which two numbers the product lies uh, what does this mean when we say 24 24 lies be between which tens children 20 and 30 24 lies between 20 and 30 so this is the range of 24 where the number lies between what and what between which two numbers does the number come okay so with the help of estimation we can say between which two numbers does our product lie product is the answer for multiplication yes so between which two numbers does the product lie estimation also helps us to find out that how to find out for example 24 into 37 we are having two numbers here 24 into 37 the product of these two factors lies between 24 into 37 children now between which tens does 24 lie between 20 and 30 24 lies between 20 and 30 yes now what about 37 it lies between 30 and 40 Am I clear, children? Twenty-four lies between twenty and thirty. If you look at the number line, we have twenty-one, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and then we have five more numbers, and then we have thirty. So where is twenty-four lying between twenty and thirty? In the same way, thirty-seven lies between thirty and forty. Clear till now? Uh, between which two numbers this lies? So we are finding out the product. So we'll find out the product of these numbers all as well. Twenty-four lies between twenty and thirty. Thirty-seven lies between thirty and forty. Now this twenty into thirty and thirty into forty gives us the range of the estimated product. Range of the product. Now these num twenty-four into thirty-seven. This product lies between these two. What is twenty into thirty? We are having two zeros. Yes, apart from the zeros, we are having two threes are six. So six hundred. And here again, two zeros. Three fours are twelve. So the our product of twenty four and thirty seven lies between six hundred and twelve hundred. Clear, children? It cannot the num the product cannot be less than six hundred or more than twelve hundred. It lies between. Six hundred and twelve hundred only. Now, how did we find out again? Now we are having two numbers, twenty-four and thirty-seven. Twenty-four lies between twenty and thirty. Thirty-seven lies between thirty and forty. Now just multiply this. Okay, remember this is the range for twenty-four, and this is the range of thirty-seven. One should be the twenty-four. And the others should be the range for thirty-seven. Okay, you cannot multiply these two and these two here. That will be wrong. Clear, children? Now the estimated product is that we found out right twenty into thirty six hundred or thirty into forty twelve hundred. This is the range. That is, the, we are set. We are giving the limits that the product can lie only between twelve hundred and six hundred. Now, what is the actual product here? Twenty-four into thirty-seven. Seven fours are twenty-eight. Two carried. Seven twos are fourteen plus two, sixteen. Yes. Next, three fours are twelve. Before that, one zero. Three fours are twelve. One carried. Three twos are six plus one seven. And when we add these numbers together, what do we get, children? Eight hundred and eighty-eight. Now, does eight hundred and eighty-eight lie between? Six hundred and twelve hundred. Yes, it comes between six hundred and twelve hundred. 
so what did estimation help us estimation helped us to find out the range range the actual product lies between these two estimated products clear children another use of estimation now estimate the product by rounding off both the numbers find the actual products do this sums in your notebook that means this is for your homework okay but let us solve uh, two problems out of this let us solve a and b here what are they saying estimate the product by rounding off both the factors both 6 and 199 okay children let us round off both to the nearest tens now if i say 6 Six lies between zero and ten. Now the nearest ten to is is six. Sorry, in the nearest ten to six is ten. Or what do we do for rounding off to nearest tens, children? Wait a minute. Yes, if I write this as zero six, when I am rounding it off to the nearest tens, I look at the digit in ones place. It is greater than five, so I will round up the digit in tens place. We add one. Zero plus one becomes one, and what do we do with the digit in ones place? We replace it with zero. Yes, so six becomes ten when rounded off to the nearest tens. Now what about one hundred and ninety nine? Again, we look at the digit in ones place. It is greater than five, so rounding up. That means adding one to the digit in tens place. What about the digit in ones place? It becomes zero. Nine plus one ten. Zero here, one carried, one plus one two. So what is our answer here? Two hundred. One ninety nine became two hundred. Six becomes ten. Now when we multiply these two, how many zeros do we have? One two three. So I'll simply write three zeros in my product. And what do I have remaining? One two zar. One two zar is two. So two thousand becomes my estimated product here. Two thousand. Clear, children. Two thousand becomes my estimated product. Coming to question B. Forty-eight into fifty-seven. Again, rounding it off to the nearest tens. Yes, here both the digits are greater than five, so we'll add one to the digit in tens place. This becomes four plus one five and zero. Five plus one six and zero. So what do we have? Fifty into sixty. Fifty into sixty. We are having two zeros, so two zeros in the product. Five six are thirty. What is our estimated product, children? Three thousand. Three thousand is our estimated product. This is clear, right? How to estimate the products? And now what should we do? Write the range of products and then find the actual products. First one is fourteen into fifty-three. Now again, as I said, range. Fourteen lies between ten and twenty. Fifty-three lies between fifty and sixty. So we need to multiply. Yes, ten into fifty becomes what? Zero zero. One five is a five. Twenty into sixty zero zero. Two six are twelve. What is our range of products, children? Five hundred and twelve hundred. The product of fourteen into fifty-three lies between five hundred and twelve hundred. Now, what did they ask us? They have asked us to find out the actual product as well. Yes, they have asked us to find out the actual product as well. So let us find out. Fourteen into fifty-three. Three fours are okay. Let us take it like this. Fifty-three into fourteen. That will be easier for us. Four threes are twelve. One carried. Four fives are twenty. Plus one twenty-one. And then a new digit in the new line, place one zero. Yes, one three is a three, one five is a five. When we add two, four, and seven, what is our answer? Seven hundred and forty-two. Now, does this lie between these two numbers? Yes. So the actual product is seven hundred and forty-two. The range is five hundred and twelve hundred. Clear, children? Coming to question number B. Fifty-three into thirty-four. Again, what is the estimated range for this? Fifty-three lies between fifty and sixty. Thirty-four lies between thirty and forty. Multiply. 
it becomes 1500 5 threes are 15 and 2 zeros 6 fours are 24 then 2 zeros so 1500 and 2400 this becomes what it becomes our range range for the estimate estimated range from the for the product coming to the actual multiplication 4 threes are 12 4 fives are 20 plus 1 becomes 21 3 threes are again see before multiplying we have to place a 0 yes 3 threes are 9 3 fives are 15 adding the digits together partial products these are called as partial products adding them together 2 plus 0 2 1 plus 9 10 1 carry 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 5 8 and 1 what is our product children 1802 now does this lie between these two numbers yes yes it lies between the our estimated range of numbers clear 1500 and 2400 is the estimated range for the product and 1802 1802 is our actual product clear children please try solving the remaining questions at your home next tick the best estimate what should we do here tick the best estimate we have 27 into 41 27 rounded off to nearest 10 becomes 30 41 becomes 40 yes here we are rounding up here we are rounding down now 30 into 40 becomes 3 4s are 12 and then 2 zeros. So 1200 is our estimate. 1200 is our best estimate. Coming to question B. 58 into 9. Now 58 is estimated as 90. Rounded off as 90. Sorry 60. 58 is rounded off as 60. 9 is rounded off as. Or this is 10. Yes 9 is rounded off as 10. So 60 into 10 becomes 6 ones are 6 0 0 600 okay children 600 becomes our best estimate yes clear just like this you have to complete the other estimates as well okay let me do this one because here we are having a three digit number 12 into 103 12 yes 12 becomes 10 12 when estimated rounded off to nearest tens becomes 10 how 103 when rounded off to nearest tens becomes 100 okay see digit in ones place that is 3 less than 5 so we round down the digits are written as it is and in the ones place we replace it with zeros so 103 becomes 100 when we multiply 1 ones are 1 and then 3 zeros so 1000 becomes our best estimate clear children Yes, that was about all about estimation of products. Okay, coming to word problems which is the last topic in multiplication. If 1 kilogram of sugar costs rupees 45, then find the cost of 28 kilograms of sugar. Now first what is the, what will be the procedure for solving word problems? First we need to write down the information that is given in the question. First piece of information, 1 kilogram of sugar costs 45 rupees. So what should we write it as? The cost of 1 kilogram of sugar is equal to 45 rupees. Next what do we have? Find the cost of 28 kilograms of sugar. So what sentence should we write? The cost of 28 kilograms of sugar is equal to. Yes, children if you remember about multiplication, Multiplication is used to find out the total number of objects in groups. See, in each for each kilogram, the cost is 45 rupees. Now, for 28 kilograms of sugar, what will be the total cost? We need to find out the product of 28 and 45. The number of kilograms and the cost of sugar per each kilogram clear children so how to find out their 45 into 28 8 5s are 40 8 4s are 32 plus 4 yes 32 plus 4 becomes 36 here 
next coming to the next digit 2 start in a new line but before multiplying place 1 0 now 2 5s are 10 1 carry 2 4s are 8 plus 1 becomes 9 now what should we do with these two we should add 360 plus 900 0 plus 0 0 6 plus 0 6 3 plus 9 12 now what can we conclude what is this 1260 the therefore the cost of 28 kilograms of sugar is rupees 1260 yes children it is important to put rupees in the answer as well okay in the question we are asked to find out the cost and the amount is given in rupees so we should also represent the answer in rupees only okay we should write rupees in front of our answer clear about our first word problem children let me erase this here yes next coming to the second one a car travels a distance of 765 kilometers every day find the distance covered in a week yes what is what does a week mean one week means seven days yes children from sunday till monday yes from sunday till monday we have one week that consists seven days now again what should we do in the word problem first piece of information a car travels a distance of 765 kilometers every day okay so how should we write it number of kilometers traveled by the car not card travel by the car in one day yes every day means what in a day in one day is equal to 765 kilometers now next find the distance covered in a week so what should we write out write out distance covered in seven days one week means what here seven days is equal to again what does it become children number of kilometers travelled in a day into number of days that is seven yes in each day he the car travels 765 kilometers so in seven days it will travel 765 into seven kilometers when we multiply seven fives are 35 seven six are 42 plus 3 always remember to add the digits that we have carried children 42 plus 3 45 5 here 4 carried 7 7 are 49 plus 4 49 plus 4 becomes 53 here so what is this 5355 the distance covered by the car in a week is equal to 5355 what kilometers in the question they have given us in kilometers so the in the answer as well we'll write kilometers clear children 5355 kilometers now this is solve solve the following word problems in your notebook that means these are for your trying out homework purpose what is the first question one kilogram of apple costs 75 rupees Find the cost of 48 kilograms. Now what will be our first step? Cost of 1 kilogram of apple is equal to 75 rupees. Cost of 48 kilograms of apples is equal to what? 48 into 75. Yes, so when we multiply the number of kilograms with the cost of Cost per each kilogram will get our answer. Next, a water contains container. A water container can hold 20 liters of water. How many liters of water will be there in 250 containers? Container means like this. Uh, something it can be a bowl or a tank or a water can or anything. Okay, in which we can store water. Now, what will be the first step? Number of liters in one water container is equal to 20. Yes. Now number of liters in 250 containers is equal to number of liters of water 
in 250 containers is equal to what children? 250 into 20 liters. Yes, remember to add liters in your answer. The number of containers into the number of liters in each container. Next, last question. In a village, there are 45 old people. The government gives 200 rupees as pension to these people. Find the total amount. Again, number of old people in the village, 45. The uh, pension received by one person, by one old person is equal to 200 rupees. Now, what should we find out? The total amount. That means the total pension received by 45 old people is equal to 45 into 200. Yes, the number of people into the number of rupees received by each person. So, the answer becomes 45 into 200. Yes, children, clear with the word problems? How to solve word problems? Now, let us see how to frame word problems. Okay, framing means we are giving the question for the word problem. Now look at the grocery bill and write the multiplication statement for each item. Also write them in sentences. Now groceries means what? See these are our groceries whatever. The items that we get from the store to prepare food at our home. Okay, or for eating. So those are called as our groceries. Okay. And also not only the eatables, children, whatever it is required like soaps and shampoos, yes, toothpaste, toothbrush, all this comes under groceries. Now what should we do? We should look at this table and write a multiplication statement. See, first what do we have? 15 packets of noodles are bought. Yes, the noodles, first item is noodles and quantity means the number of Packets or the number of kilograms that you have got. How many? 15 packets were bought. And what is the price per item? 10 rupees. Okay children, let us stop here. We purchased 15 packets of noodles. And the price of each packet is 10 rupees. Okay, now with the help of multiplication, we can find out the price of 15 packets, right? Yes. So, what will it be? 15 into 10. Each packet it is 10 rupees. We have bought 15 packets. So, the cost of 15 packets becomes 15 into 10. Which is equal to nothing but here we already have it 150 rupees. The total price. Clear? Right? Now, this becomes our multiplication statement. That's it children. The quantity into the price per item is equal to total price now we have purchased 15 packets so we'll have to pay for 15 years even though each noodles packet is 10 rupees okay as we have purchased 15 packets we'll multiply 15 into 10 and then pay 150 rupees yes wait yeah, multiplication statement becomes 15 into 10 is equal to 150 yes? and also what should we do we should write a question for this statement okay for this statement what do we know here the cost of a packet of noodles is 10 rupees what is the cost of 15 such packets we found out the cost of 15 packets of noodles Yes or no children? So the same thing we have to frame in the, right in the form of a question. The cost of a packet of noodles is 10 rupees. What is the cost of 15 such packets? Clear? This is our multiplication statement and this is our word problem that we have framed. Now what are they saying? Write the multiplication statement and questions for the above information. That means for all the information that is given here, for each item we need to write a multiplication statement. Okay, let us do it. For biscuits, what will be the multiplication statement? We purchased 18 packets whose cost is 20 rupees per packet. So when we multiply 18 into 20, what will we get? 
360. Now this is our multiplication statement. Now what will be the word problem for it? The cost of one biscuit packet is 20 rupees. Yes. Now what will be the cost of 18 such packets? Yes children the cost of 1 is 20 rupees. Now what will be the cost of 18 such packets? Clear? This will be our word problem. Coming to rice. Again we bought 25 kilograms. Each kilogram costed 45 rupees. So what will be our multiplication statement? 25 into 45 is equal to 1125. And coming to the question. 1 kilogram, not packet here, kilogram. 1 kilogram of rice cost 45 rupees. Now what will be the cost of 25 kilograms of rice? Yes, what will be the cost of 25 kilograms of rice? Next, coming to green gram. Again, we purchased 15 kilograms. Each kilogram costed 56 rupees. So what will be the total price? 15 into 56 number of kilograms purchased with the multiplied with the price. 15 into 56 is equal to 840. And what will be our question children? 1 kilogram of green gram, green gram cost 56 rupees. Now find out the cost for 15 kilograms of green gram. Yes. So then we need to multiply these two and we will get our answer. Clear? La coming to the last item that is soap. Now we bought 5 soaps and the price of each soap is 30 rupees. So 5 soaps into the price of each soap will give us 150 rupees. That, give, that is nothing but the price of 5 soaps. Yes? Now what will be the question? Cost of each soap is 30 rupees. Cost of each soap is 30 rupees. Now find out the cost of 5 such soaps. 5 such soaps. Clear children what was this framing word problems. We framed multiplication statements and also framed word problems for each of the given item. Okay. Now what did we learn about multiplication in short? Multiplication is used when we have many groups and the number of objects in each group is the same. And with the help of multiplication we can find out the total objects in all the groups. Say in we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 boxes. And in each box I am having 3 balls. Yes. So with the help of multiplication. And with the help of multiplication. I can find out the number of balls in 6 boxes. How? 3 into 6. That will give us 18 balls. Yes. In each box we are having 3 balls. So in 6 boxes we will have 3 into 6. 18 balls. Clear children? And multiplication is denoted by the symbol that looks like this x. We call it, how do we read it as into. Yes, we have learnt about estimation of products and also framing word problems. I hope this was clear children.